Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Lush Kitchen exclusive box for the month of January. And well, let me just say, I'm intrigued. All I've done is cut the label across the top that basically seals the box, but this is our box this month. It looks very retro, like video game kind of look, and it's super cool. Like I love it. The box is pretty much the same every month on the outside, but that sticker, hmm. I'm wondering if they're gonna have some retro products. I should also state you guys, I do not partake in the little vote that they have because I don't wanna look, I don't wanna know, I don't watch anyone else's video. I want to be surprised when I do finally open this. So you're gonna get my first impression on all these items. So let's just quickly open this. I might have to move the box out of the way. Ooh, I was close. Unbox retro favorites. So I think that a bunch of the items in here is gonna, are gonna be like retro items. I have been a Lushy, I am a Lushy, but I have a Lush Fanatic probably since the late 90s. I want to say 97, not long after they launched. So anyway, I'm really hoping maybe I'll get some items I haven't seen or heard of in a very long time. So right here on the top here is like just like a 2023 is calling. You got the big brick phone and the disc ball, the lava lamp, CDs, of course. And it says issue number 32, whatever that means. Let's party like it's 1995. Oh, sweet. I graduated high school in 96 for any of you guys out there. This January, we're transporting you back to where it all started, the 90s, baby. Rediscover the all-time favorites of this curated time capsule packed with beloved classics from the 90s and early 2000s. The very first item. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. I can use this. I can use this when I go into Lush. <laughs> it is a little bag. It's like a grocery bag. See, I'm going to have to move the box out of the way, guys. It's got some little schmutz on it just because it's got some sparkles probably from some upcoming products we'll be seeing and discussing shortly. But it is one of those like little bags you take the grocery bags. And so it's super cool. I love it. it even comes with the tag, 100% organic cotton. It's a great little bag to have. I can never have too many of these. And plus, I love Lush. Why wouldn't I want to haul this around? So there's that. Let's see here. Let's dive into this. There is a like a little information thing here, which I am gonna open up because I don't know the names of everything. So I'm gonna try not to look ahead, but let's see here. Let's pick up this item here. Ooh, ooh, she looks very cute. It is like a mint green and a like Easter yellow. Oh, it smells like citrus. Smells so good. This one here is called the Slammer. So it is a bath bomb and Oh, it smells so good, you guys. Like it smells bright and like refreshing. And sometimes, not that I have a bath right now that I would really use at the moment, but sometimes you just want a morning bath and just to invigorate you. This smells like there's probably lemongrass and lemon and lime and all that stuff that would just smell like, make basically wake you up. So I'm very intrigued about that one. Next up, let's pull here. And by the way, all of these are biodegradable. It's just cornstarch. So you basically put this down your sink, turn on the tap to some hot water and watch these things melt. It's wonderful. This is called Auntie Pamela Bubble Bar. So Bubble Bar, if you're not familiar, is something you can can I, with something this big, you don't need a lot of a bubble bar from Lush. I could probably get three to four uses out of this and just crumple it and cr like cut it into quarters. And then and from that quarter, when I go to use it, really just chop it up or crumple it up. I have like a, a small soap cutter that I use to cut up my bubble bars. So this one here, let's smell this one. This one is definitely got like roses and floral notes to it. There is a sweetness to it. It's not rose jam. Let me be very clear about that. It's okay. I definitely can smell the bath bomb I just showed you called the slammer that we just discussed is definitely more herbally like I feel like there I'm smelling some of the bath bomb on this because it's a small package but this is really really nice this is a very decent size this is a standard sized bubble bar that you would get and I'm assuming it's a retro item it sounds like this whole box is but it's not something I recognize would I buy this if I was in the store Probably not the scented one because I do love their bubble bars. I feel like you get really dense, thick bubbles with, with these and you get a lot of uses, but I feel like I would have probably gone for something sweeter than this one here, which is definitely more like floral and herbally. So this one's a narcotic and it is a lavender water that brings balance as fresh lemon juice and tea tree oil clarify for clear, confident skin. So this is basically a, it says a shower gel. So I guess because of all like I just read to you, 
I thought at first I was supposed to put this on my face, but no, it is a body, it's, it is a shower gel, but it is like a purple color by the look, or it's a bluish color. I don't know if you guys can see that in the light, but, um, oh, it's sealed up. It's kind of, it wouldn't be very easy to tell, but it's kind of got a bluish tone. Now, unfortunately the light's kind of, um, definitely distorting that quite a bit, but, uh, it is very nice. It's a small size. I'm glad I got a small size in this because lavender, I love lavender. I love Sleepy by Lush, but I've never had this before. And I don't know if I would want a lavender shower gel per se, but I am glad I have this to try. So this is their 100 milliliter, which is the smallest bottle that you can uh, have. I am very happy that I got this in the box and excited to give this a try. Whoa, here we go. <laughs> this next item here has got some of the thingies stuck to it. What are you? Mm, let's smell you. Ooh. Oh, I better not touch it. Actually, I can tell I shouldn't be touching it. It's very moisturizing and sparkly. <laughs> so there's that one here. And this one is actually called Banana Moon. And it's a soap. I don't know if you guys are aware, but I love banana. A banana anything. Oh, this is a very, like, how can I put it? A very ripe banana. I always freeze my bananas when I don't use them before they get really dark and almost black and I freeze them in the freezer and then what I do is I pull them out and put them in a bowl to thaw out and it's at that stage where I cut it open to go make banana bread and it's that smell. It's like a really 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 thick syrupy sweet banana scent and this has that like raw batter smell to it as well. Like it fe I feel like that's what it reminds me of. It's like the banana loaf batter that's what i smell it's very moisturizing i don't use soaps like this often but i'm definitely going to give this a try it's it's very moisturizing i should also say guys um the lush kitchen exclusive boxes i i basically pay for this uh have it just delivered every month and it's available in North America now. It used to only be in the US and it's all exclusive products. So none of these items you're gonna see in store at all. Like it is truly, they are just for us who purchase these. And the very, very last item here, we have Starcraft, which is a kitchen exclusive facial cleanser. Oh, I thought that, I thought that the other one was a facial cleanser at first. I'm like, whoa, I'm glad that it wasn't because I'm like lavender. I don't know if I want lavender in my face. But a facial cleanser, that's a very, very generous amount of facial cleanser too. That's a lot. You don't need a lot to go a long way. Let me see if I can smell this. I'm not sure if it's just me. I did kind of lift this up here to see if I can smell it. I'm not sure if it's just like the fact that it smells like that bath bomb, the slammer, very invigorating, but it kind of gives like a little bit of an invigorating scent on the inside. I did lift the little cap. So that's really cool too. So this says cleanse the Milky Way. This gentle blend of creamy oat milk and calming lavender rejuvenates the skin for gorgeous radiance. Well, I'm glad I don't have sensitive skin because I can pretty much use almost anything. So I'll definitely give that one a try as well. So. None of these items today that we received, I have ever tried. Like I have been like say a Lushy for a very, very long time, but none of these items I've tried. And it does sound like every one of these items is supposed to be like a flashback or a retro favorite of some kind from at least the 90s to early 2000s. So I'm very impressed. Again, I'm, I'm super happy. I am happy also that they decided to do a retro box for January because I feel January and no one knows what to do with because it's no longer like the holiday season and yet it's not like a Valentine's Day or Easter or March, which would be St. Patrick's Day. Like I can sort of see themes for almost every month. Uh, whereas here in January, there's not a lot one can do, but so the retro is awesome. Now, what, what I love to see is a retro one with Pied de Pepper. <laughs> Again, that's an item that I absolutely adore and have not seen in oh, 10 years or so now at this point. But anyway, you guys, I am super happy with this box. Again, if you guys want to purchase this box just one time you can do that or if you want a monthly subscription like i have you can just go onto their website and sign up for their subscription i do not partake in the voting process even when you're part of the voting process it doesn't mean that you're going to get whatever you voted for either but rather i stay away from all of that anyway because i want to be completely 100 percent surprised i don't want to even have a hint to know what these items will be each month so i'd say my favorite this smells delicious the slammer smell, smells amazing then i would say the bag is probably my second favorite because i use these all the time for groceries and, and i have so many lush 
potted um, face mask that I can take back and that'll be handy. I also very curious about this facial cleanser, the banana soap. Even though I don't use actual soap like this very often in the shower, I'm definitely going to try it as well. Then I would say the narcotic shower gel, which is like apparently lavender, and then this bubble bar. Not because it's a butter bubble bar, because I think bubble bars are great. It was more like the fact that it's very herbally. Both of these ones are quite herbally, where these ones here are not. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.